Good morning, folks. Stick around to the end of this video for some big updates. We'll start at the sun. Very calm day, but things could change soon. Those dark lines cutting towards the equator are plasma filaments, and they are eruption threats. Even though they are turning out of an Earth-facing position today, we do have something that could take their place. Although solar flaring is still very low, we are seeing some signs that an uptick may be coming. The only real sunspot group worth monitoring this morning is coming in now on the southeastern limb. It is those spots that popped our first sea flare in hours and hours, and which might continue increasing activity throughout the day. In the solar wind, we are just now seeing those higher speed particles that we expected. It is early in the event, so Earth's shield is just fine, but I'll watch for instability developing tonight. Yesterday we were examining the coronal holes here, moderate power facing Earth, but as you'll remember we also have planets lining up. This while the coronal fields bent open and greatly increased the near Earth space exposure to the interplanetary fields. In fact, we jumped from positive to negative near Earth influence yesterday as well. Started with a 6.7 earthquake in Papua New Guinea, and then this morning a 7 magnitude earthquake struck the exact same area. Two in the same location give me a bit of those foreshock jitters. The volcanoes got in the mix as well as Calbuco had yet another eruption yesterday. This makes three significant eruptions in the last few days. Hopefully that's all the pressure we're going to let loose during this watch. I'd like to report a radiation incident at wildfires in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. They're dumping energetically hot ash across the region. Last night's winds were driving south over Kiev, and this morning we see somewhat of a wind stagnation, maybe a bit of curling around into pressure nodes nearby. Top article is about Messenger. She indeed crashed into Mercury yesterday afternoon after running out of fuel. We've been expecting that for a while, knew it was coming. We were hoping to get some images of it, however, there were none. We also have a solid radar view of the ground movement within the Nepal quake zone. Significant up and down with the land caused by that event. We've got a cyclone almost at the coastline of Australia now, been shearing onto land for days and is now ready to say hello. It drives to the south while another convergence to the east mashes it up on the northeastern coastlines. Top alert, obviously the cyclone. Then we come to the United States where a convergence center cut has been and will continue bringing storms to the area. The alerts will not be major, but will follow the collision point nonetheless. In Europe, we are seeing that same convergence line leading in across to a northern flow. That's where the clouds are going to be found, driving in along the convergence line and then shooting north once it has done so. Let's go to the announcements. Folks, it is the last day to sign up for the 2015 Electric Universe Conference during the pre-registration period. If you can handle Phoenix in June, it's going to be a great show. My speech is Sunday in a tandem lesson back-to-back -back with Dr. Kong Papu Yen. That's a one-two punch that should be fun. If you're new to our earthquake forecasting or you just want a preview of what I'll be talking about, check out the latest upload on the Thunderbolts YouTube channel. It's short hits all the major points, and is linked for you below. Second, folks, this is the last month for pre-registration for our own conference, Observing the Frontier. We'll take the show around the country, but we begin in Pittsburgh this October. The event page is linked for you below, tickets are going very quickly, and we're putting together a pretty cool show for you guys. Last but not least, the website for Earth Changes Media is undergoing upgrades right now, but keep an eye out for it to come back. The observers and Earth Changes Media are working on a partnership that will benefit both you guys and the lines of study on which we've been so very focused. That is a big deal, folks. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. Scroll down. Please click. Gracias. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.